Okay, so we got our answers and questions in there. What's next up? Um, first, let's check on our answers and questions. We can look at our list. Answers, we got all the answers. We have a questions. lot of questions in there. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of confusing. Hmm. How come we have two sets of questions? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I think I get it. Let's click it again. Boom. Now there's 10 answers and there's 15 questions. I we keep on adding questions and answers to the list. Yes. Every again, time we click on again, the and again. So what we gotta do to stop that is 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 before adding all the questions and answers, we gotta delete all of the answers and questions. Delete so all of answers. Delete all of questions. Now we just have five. Five, five, boom, five, boom, five. Boom. But I don't wanna see the questions and answers on my yeah, screen. Yeah, yeah, we we don't really want to show the players. Oh, the answers are ten. Wait, 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 yeah. but it is lost. So uh, we're just gonna uncheck that. Okay. So oh. this pretty much of this setup is pretty much done. So the next step here is we're going to um do. Well, we're gonna show the computer what to do when after the start game. So okay. this is gonna be a relatively short script. So we're gonna go to events. Bring out mm -hmm. when I receive. We're gonna put start game, and okay. we're gonna be counting down. So we That's put it. forever, so to keep counting down and counting down. Mm -hmm. We're gonna wait one second because we're gonna count down every one second. We're going to change timer by go to variable. Change Max, before timer. you continue, can you zoom in a little bit more on that start game script? Sure. Plus, yes. Before. Yes, okay. So, so we're going to keep waiting a second and then boom, we subtract the time because we so, were going to give the player. Um, that's a minus second, one in there? What? So, that's a minus one in there? Yes, it's a negative well, one. Change so timer by minus. We're not going to add more to the time. We're going to subtract from the time. Okay. Because we're losing. Okay. Okay. So, we're going to move to a different part here. So, and then the next part is this one is going to be a bit of a longer script. We're going to show what happens when we do the next, when we receive next question. So we'll show up when I receive next question. First, we're going to set question number two. So we go back to Vero, we set question number two. And we're going to go to operators now because we're going to change that number to we're going to add one because we're going to the next question. And then we're going, and then we want to change the question number by one. So we're going to just bring out question number. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, we, we, we're changing question number by one, essentially. We're just adding one yes. question. Yes. Wait, hold on. Let me put this in. Got it. Okay. What's next? Okay, no, technically, you can also change question number by one. You could okay. also do that. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. This works still. So we can also set the question text, which is oh, going to be a new. We need a new variable. Okay, a new variable. We're calling calling it question text. Yep. Question text. Got it. And um, and then we're we're going to set question text to. We're going to choose which, well, the one which question we're on. So we're going to choose item. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Item one of the answers. We're not going to choose item one, just item one, because we, we could be on um, number three, but we don't want to just keep asking the same question again. That's right. Um, but this is the question text, so we'll change answers to questions. We're going to do item we're gonna go up to the variables um and we're gonna do item question number of questions also we're going to 
um, remove the question text because the Among Us guy will also be asking it. So the player wouldn't need to see it. Yeah. All right, we got that. Uh, we're going to do the same thing. So for the for a new for a new another variable mm-hmm. called correct answer. Okay. Set correct answer. We also have to set the correct answer to the item question number answer because we don't want the question to, to be the answer and the correct answer to be the question. All right. So I'm getting item question number of answers. Yep. Well, it's also on track correct answer. Yeah, we don't want to see that. Sure, we don't want to show the player the correct answer. Um, okay. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have the Among Us guy ask the question. So we're going to ask question text and wait. Mm-hmm. So that's basically asking for trivia or we're changing it to the question text. And we know the question that's correct because we're changing it to the item question number of question of the question list. Perfect. So how do we check if the answer is correct or not? We're going to use an if then else. Then else. So if the answer is correct, then yay. If the answer is not correct, then uh-uh. no. yeah. So um we're going to go to operators and bring the equal sign out once again. So we're going to check if the answer is the correct answer. And that's a variable, correct answer. Yeah. Yes. Got Which it. Which we get to the correct answer. If answer correct. equals correct answer. Then mm-hmm. we're going to give the player a bit of a reward. Mm. Like... Um, so we're going to change our score score by one, so you get a point. And nice. then we also we're also going to change timer by five, so we're gaining more time if we get it. Correct. We're gaining like five seconds. Yeah. Getting the answer right. If we don't get it right, then we're going to change timer by oh. negative. Five, so we're gonna lose five seconds if we get it wrong. And we're also going to bring out go, go to looks and bring out to say hello for two seconds. Bring that after the um the change. So two of those and the and that kind of thing. Two, two of on the say, right? Okay. Yes. All right. So if it's correct, can we say what? Can, what should we say? I'm like. Correct. Correct. You you earned one point and five seconds. Nice. And then and then we say wrong. Try again. You lost five seconds. Okay. And then we're going to change both these um to one second. All right. It says one seconds, but it's actually one second. Still the same thing. Yes. <laughs> Okay, and then after that, how do we get to the next question again and again and again and again? We're going to we're going to do the same thing. We're just gonna say, oh, let's broadcast next question. So we'll so just the do the same. Thing. So go back go back to the next question, do the next question, go back to the next question. All right, can we test this out? All right, so we click and make the screen big, big, big. The yes. Maxwell, can you make the screen big of the sure. yeah? Okay. Welcome to the trivia game. Are you ready? Yes, I am. No, yeah, I am. Okay. 
Let's do, I'm not sure, maybe 10. Where's, we gotta go. Yeah, I think it's 11. Really? Okay. No, I'm correct. What is the correct. maximum number of imposters? Can we get this one wrong? I, I think it, well, I don't even know, so I might get it wrong, I might get it right. I'm going to choose maybe four. Four, okay. So, Wrong answer. You lost so, five seconds. How many main maps available, available among us? Let's say three. Three. Yes. Correct. Right. All right. What is their emergency right. meeting cooldown time think, at the start of an Among Us game, preventing players from calling? Okay. Uh, among Us was developed. Oh. Small indie game studio. What is the name of the studio responsible for creating this popular game? I'm not sure. I think it was in. Microsoft. Microsoft. I have the answers right here, actually. I can just look this up. It, oh, yeah. Inner something. Oh. Inner? Maybe it's Inner Sloth? It yeah, it, it's Inner Sloth. I'm, I'm looking at the answers right now. Okay. Oh, wait a second. We have negative time. Yeah, we have negative time. I was about to say that. That is so weird. And, yeah, this is happening. There yeah, are no yeah, questions correct. left, correct. but the game is correct. still going. Correct. Correct. That's just really weird. So yeah. that's why we're going to have the next script. All right. This one okay. is going to stop the game. All right. So Let's go. we're going to do another one flag click here. Let's Can you zoom in a bit. that again, Maxwell? Yes, thank you. Yes. We're going to have forever because... You know, yep. it might take them really long to end this game mm -hmm. forever. We're going to do two if thens. Make sure to put um, the second if then not inside the other if then, but under the second. Both of the if thens are inside the correct. Okay, hold on. Okay. Awesome. So, next thing is we're going to check if something is something. So, we're going to check for two things. If the question number is six and if the timer is less than one. So, if we ran out of time or we finished the question. It's kind of okay. interesting if the question number equals six because we only have five questions. But at the end of question five, think about what happens. It'll go one more. Do the same thing again. And we look at the top set question number to question number plus one. We're changing yeah. it by one. So it would be six at the end of the game. So we're going to check if we're going to have to make this six and make this less than one. Oops. I put. Oh, an that's equal an equal. Sign. Yeah. Make okay. sure to not put an equal sign. You got to put a less than sign. All right. Less if than one. Less timer is zero or less. We can go to variables now. We can bring the timer out here and question number. Then we're going to broadcast end game. That's going to be a new message. So we're going to broadcast end, end game for both of those things. Cool. Right. And Not a new message. Same end game. Got it. And we'll, um, so this is going to be our last step here. We're going to say, when I receive end game, what happens when we say end game? When I receive end game, we're going to say, say something like, yeah. you, you, you won so many points. Well, we could say that, but here we're going to say how many points we actually earned. So we're gonna say first we're gonna go to operators and bring out join. It says join Apple Banana, but that's not really correct. So we're gonna say join game over. Your final score mm -hmm. is is and then a space after is. Well, I'm not sure yet. Okay. Let's bring up the score now. I, I'm not sure if you would need it, though, because it just joins these together. All right, let's test it out. Uh, welcome to the game. Are you very oh, sure? Make it big, yes. big, big, big. 
Good, good, good. Yes. Okay. And notice how the timer isn't started yet because not it's yet. Late. That's right. Start. Two. Two. How many crewmates? I know this was right. Ten. All right. Let's guess something else. How about two? Ah. Uh, Wrong okay. answer. How many main uh, maps? Ninety nine. Nine hundred and ninety nine. Maxwell. Nine hundred ninety nine. I mean, yeah. oh, this is a pretty good, big game. Uh, oh, yeah. that was wrong. Oh, okay. Emergency um, meeting pool one time. It's one second. One second. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. that's it, as ah, much time as you have. Come on. I will. Was sure. developed by Microsoft. It was. Yep. I'm pretty sure. Among Us. I'm not gonna listen to you. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> All right. I'm that's not. correct. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's right. right. We need a It'll space. Yeah, yeah, we need the space, space between the is. So we have to add the space after your final score is because score does not have a space with it. Uh, after that, we're also going to put stop all to go and the game. Good. Yes. Well, actually, let's see what happens if we hit no. Okay, fine. And then it stops. Hmm. So All right, let's let's play our, one more time and, and get perfect score. Prima is finished here. Okay. Obviously, you could have changed all of these questions to something different. If you want, you could new. Um, you could upgrade this to add more questions. You could add more different answers. You could do something other than okay bye to do something more. Expensive. So here we have that last prompt that gave us five questions so i can say give me 20 questions about among us in the same format and the beauty of chat gpt is you can give me those 20 questions um right away here we go so if you wanted to do 100 questions could chat gpt do that it totally could. It totally could. I'm sure you can't just chat. You can't have a chat GPT account unless you're 13 or over. But you can ask your parents for help with that. Yeah, and you can but, change the subject too, right? We can. It doesn't have to be about about Among yeah. Us. Give me five yep. questions about. It could be Pokemon. It could be, um, My Little Pony. I don't know. Just something like that. Five questions about Pokemon in the same format. And here, now we've created basically a trivia question and answer generator. Yeah. Um, for but that be also a generator of many other things. Yeah. All right, stories. guys. You could even ask it to make scratch code for you. It hasn't done scratch before, so there might be a few bugs. Yeah. But you can edit it and find the bugs there. Yeah um okay all right everyone thanks so much for watching again my name is Jengis, and i'm with maxwell okay maxwell thank thanks again for watching everyone bye bye bye, bye.